What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining me today, man. Killer day. Let me adjust this. Bingo. Um, hope you're having a good day today, man. Um, today's pretty good for me. Um, got something a little different today for you guys. Um, you may have heard of this. Um, or you may not have. Either way, this might catch your curiosity. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, it should catch your eye pretty well. Um, so let me have some tubes here. And then, uh, I'll let you know what we're talking about, man. Cool, man. Um, we have two things to talk about today. And the first one is, oh, of course I'm unprepared, but I'll grab it in a second. Okay, we're talking about uh, Hot Wires by Chadster. Okay, you can get these at, oh, jeez. Um, Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, okay. You can get these at the vaping section, okay? Uh, dot com. Now, what if you get on the website and you try to order these, this, um, it won't let you. So you're going to have to call them. And hold on, I'll grab the number for you guys. Alright, so here it is, guys. Alright. Baby section. And uh, the number is 1909-860-3900. Alright, baby section. You're going to call them and you're going to ask for the hot wires. Okay. Um, this is beast mode. Beast mode is 15 feet of very, very high quality. I hate silica. I do. This is really good silica. Um, and you also get 15 feet of the hot wires. This is 26 gauge, hence the beast mode. Now you can get, there's also a 28 gauge too. Uh, this is 20 bucks, guys. Um, you're probably thinking, what's the difference between uh, these wires and just regular old canthal that you buy from Temco or whatnot. I don't know. But I will tell you this is very strange. Um, it's it's uh, it's so weird. Now I know this build. I build this build pretty much every time I build in something. Um, most of the time. Um, and it always measures out to about, well, my Nimbus with the brass, uh, Phillips heads, uh, measures out at, I believe, 1.8 or 2. This build, every time, it's right around there. Um, let me show you something. Nobody's unprepared. Let me show you something. Ah, uh, this totally threw me back after I built this. With the hot wires. I went ahead and built all of my atomizers. With the hot wires. Because I want to put these through the ringer. Okay, check this out. Crazy, right? I don't know why. I don't. And it's like that in all my Addies that I built. I know what they usually come out to be. They all have the exact same build in them. Um, I don't know why. Um, if any of you guys out there that are watching this know, please let me know why. 
um, I went ahead and uh, I took a caliper to them to see maybe the size difference. They're both the exact same size. I think negative 1.6 They to put it up next to 26 gauge can thaw. I don't know why it's such a low ohm. Ah, as you, it, it performs well. Um, you know, as you can see, just plumes. It's, uh, you know, um, yeah, it, it's just, they're just, it, it's beast mode, man, <laughs> in its own right. It, it, it performs well. Um, what I've noticed about this wire is, uh, it's, very, it's almost softer. That makes sense. Really easy to work with. Super malleable. Um, it's got a whole different feel to it. Um, I did notice when I did the first fire, just to set the coils uh, without the cotton in it. If you guys have ever seen my build videos, um, and it almost had this uh, brass look to it. Uh, it's it's, it's kind of weird. Um, now they just look like they normally would with regular use. They haven't deformed in any way. Um, can't really see that. I need to get a better camera. But, uh, yeah, man, I don't know. It's, it's definitely crazy. Um, I like it, but at the price, um, 20 bucks, I could buy. Like I said, I don't care much for Sylvia. You guys might, um, if that's the case, then this is worth, this may be worth the money for you guys. Uh, you know, if you love silica and you want high quality silica, this is the best height, this is the highest quality I've ever seen in silica. And I've got a lot. Uh, that's why I built, built with that for like a year, you know. Nothing but. Uh, I just don't, I never really liked it. Um, you know, playing with builds, stuff like that. Uh, but if you guys like silica, this is definitely worth the money. Um, you know, 15 feet of canthal. I can run through that pretty freaking quick. <laughs> you know, I build a lot though. Um, so, yeah, man. Um, definitely wanted to like pop it up once again. Here it is. Hot wires. Beast mode by Chancer there by Chadster. Uh, very cool. Uh, oh, 2.5 millimeter silica, by the way. I've never been good at those. Um, here it is. Let me throw on the Igo W here. Uh, same build. Um, like I said, using the hot wires. This is just a trial run for me to see if I dig it. Um, at the price, I don't think it's something that you know I might buy just to have it around, just to make sure I kind of keep it around, you know. Um, Uh, make sure that, you know, just have fun with. I like to build a quad coil with this stuff. That could be fun. Make sure we're juicy here. Yeah, like this one's just been fired a little bit. And it's got that kind of brassy look to it. Uh, it could be a hybrid. It could be, you know. I don't know. I'm really hoping that one of you guys out there know more about this. This is kind of being a class of something that would be like a specialty wire um, or something like that. You know, as you can see, it doesn't really matter what you put it in. Uh, it's going to perform well for you. Great flavor. Um, but like you saw there, I mean, it it, uh, it heats up quick. Uh, we're going to go back to the uh, 
after this guy here because there's something else I want to talk about today. Well, I, while I got you guys. Um, it's another tip from Loki Lab. And I wanted to show you guys this because it's pretty cool and it's been working really well for me. Um, with the Hagrid W, it gets really hot, you know. Same with the Nimbus. Um, just from the high amount of heat. Um, and I wanted to really show you guys this because it's pretty cool. It's not... Uh, it's fairly new on the website. Um, oh, I wish I had something to compare it to. Um, but uh, here it is, man. This is the 45 Stubby Stainless Steel uh, Delrin Hybrid. As you can see, you got a little juice in there. Um, you got the Delrin in the bottom. It goes halfway up the inside there. Um, of this, I think it's 6.5 mil bore um, strip tip. Um, the Delrin is obviously is it looks like it's press fitted right to it goes about halfway up the drip tip, and then the rest is stainless steel. You have your engraving right there of the logo. Um, pretty cool. It's got that kind of chafered top right there. And if you notice, with all their tips, there's no edge in there. You know, it's just solid straight through. Look at that. And the thing is, when you get like a tip with like a little ledge on the inside, um, juice will get caught on there and get in your mouth. Man. It's no good. This has never gotten hot on me yet. Not once. And I've built some quads and stuff like that, so, uh, so it's, it's doing well, man. Um, pretty cool idea. So, um, same same concept with the Omega um, O-ring, where the O-ring's smaller, but the but the metal is wider, so it's like. You can almost flesh fit just without the O-ring, but just that little bit of O-ring makes it stick so good. Uh, best O-ring I've ever seen on an atomizer, bar none. Um, same concept with the with the drip tips too. So again, this is the 45 stubby. Look how fat that thing is. Let me compare that to. I got my Dynasty here. That's the guaranteed biggest drip tip I own. Um, I mean, as you can see, it's, it's big, it's fat, it's stubby, it looks like a bullet, you know, so sick, so clean, um, once again, some of the highest quality engraving I've ever seen on the tip, look at that, even the eye, it's like clean, there's no like little smudgy where it mess, it's just crystal, crystal perfect. Um, so yeah man check them out this tip has been a it goes on anything that gets like hot like the I go W's or my Nimbus um, so yeah man there it is right there boom check it out as you can see the fit on this thing too by the way I'll show you You can't beat that. Can't beat it. Well, there it is, man. I really want to get this out there. Definitely, especially about this, too. Um, you know, kind of a double, double feature here today, guys. Sweet drip tip. Good wires. Good silica, if you like silica, give these give these guys a call. Like I, I gave you the number before. Um, right here, good people. Um, really great customer service. As a matter of fact, when I called, they uh, they said it'd be about two weeks till they got more in. Uh, I got it four days later. So I don't know how that worked out, but uh, it's always there on their shit, you know. So, um, so yeah, man, there it is. That's about all I got. Let's end this in uh, classic form, man. And like I said, man, if you guys know anything about this uh, this wire, um, you know, that I don't.
please comment down below because I'd really like to know what what uh, what what it's about exactly. Um, so there it is, man. Thanks for watching. Any questions down below? As always. <laughs> See you guys.